So this takes us really in dovetails into, you know, is it okay to revise this budget? And I do recall over the last couple of years, uh, really hearing from a lot of leaders saying, you know what, we will forecast our budget and we will visit it quarterly, if not monthly. So I'd love to learn from you, Justine, what you and, um, you know, really everyone at your part-time controller is sharing by way of revisions and how we should, you know, incorporate this best practice. So what we like to say is your budget, once it's approved by the board, that's your budget, right? And Unless everything changes, which certainly in the first year of the pandemic that happened, everything changed. And so you might want to go back and do a rebudget and have the board approve that. But truly from there, we'll forecast. So we'll take that original budget document, leave it where it is, leave that as our, because as, that's, a, that's a benchmark. That's a point in time that we still want to measure ourselves against, right? Because we had a plan, that budget was a plan that we expressed numerically. And so we still want to benchmark against where are we on that plan, but then we'll have forecasts and we might have a first quarter forecast and a second quarter forecast and a third quarter forecast where we're updating that budget, but we're not calling it the budget. We're calling it a forecast so that we give ourselves that wiggle room, but are still always benchmarking ourselves against that original plan. So we're always reminding the board and ourselves what we gave up, what we're not getting done so that we don't forget to circle back and get it next year when we can, right?